tonight on Alibi. We investigate the murder of local student Abigail Woods, a crime that has shaken the community to its core. We're joined in studio by the prime suspects, Rory, Abigail's violent ex, and Ian, the stalker she has spent years trying to escape. Abigail was found asphyxiated in the Ivy Gardens in the early hours of Saturday morning. Her estimated time of death, midnight Friday. Let's start with you, Rory. How did you know Abigail? Uh, we met at a party about three years ago. Um, you know, we've seen each other since then, kind of on again, off again. Um, you know, the relationship had its problems. Um, she drove me fucking crazy. Um, you know, she couldn't really handle the way I live. What do you mean, couldn't handle the way you live? She said I had issues committing to the relationship. Um, but really, she just didn't like my friends. Uh, she didn't like the people I know um, at all. And, uh, you know, she was a bit much. Um, you know, I had a, I have a bit of a temper sometimes, but that's really the only thing. A temper? Yeah, I get angry during arguments. Have you ever gotten physical during an argument, Rory? <laughs> no. Have you ever committed a crime, no. Rory? You're certain? Yeah. I mean, Ooh, I think okay. the problem that was no, that's really interesting. getting at it. Um, we have access to a Garda report on you, actually, on your assault of a man who was dating Abigail at the time, in her home, no less. Would you like to tell us a little bit about they that? They weren't dating. She was cheating on me. We were together. Mm, they've been dating for maybe, what, three, four weeks at the time? Sounds like you weren't together to me. He got what was coming to him. He knew it was coming, and he knew he was fucking with someone who was mine. Interesting phrasing you used there, Rory. On the night of Abigail's murder, would you say you were on again or off again? <clears throat> she had gotten angry at me. I got angry at her. But then we made up um, and we talked it out at the party. And we Didn't seem to me like she wanted to talk to you much. What really happened that night, Roy? Look, we made up at the party, and then we met up some more in the back room, and then we left. We went to the park, met up some more, and then I left. You left a drunk girl alone in a park Look, in the middle of the night. she happy to me. Alone in a park in the middle of the night, Rory. Listen, don't worry, she's never alone. Because Fucko here is always pretty close by. Uh, hey, that's, that's not fair to say. I'm, I, I was nearby. Mm, on the yeah, night. about 100 meters, give or take. All right, right. That hasn't gone through. Okay. Yeah. It's not yeah. gone through. Right. It's not, there's no reason I shouldn't have been able to be yeah. there. I was looking out for her, mm -hmm. and you're clearly a dangerous individual. Ian, I why, don't we, why don't we look to you for a second? Um, how long have you known Abigail? Where did you? Seven years, longer than this guy. I, I knew her in TY. She was in my maths class. I helped her out in maths and we were friends. We're pretty close. And she has spoken to him three times in those hey, seven that's years. That's not true at all. We were like in TY, we were so close. And mm. like we, yeah. get in, we got into a bit of an, you know, a thing, but like I, we got out of that, I think, I like to think. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I, I really don't get what you're saying. I don't get what you're mm. Insinuating. Yeah. Did you get his phone? Yes. You probably get what I was saying then. Both of you gave us access to your phones before coming on air tonight. Uh, we'd like to thank you for that. Um, Ian, I'd just like to go through a couple of messages that you have sent over the past few months. Would you say this looks like friendship to yeah. you? Well, <laughs> like I, it's clear. Like I care. Stay about, away from me. Well, that's. Like, yeah. just Please stop texting me. I, I you know, it, it, when, when you, you wouldn't really Over understand the relationship. Over 300 texts outside. in the past month alone. I don't think anybody wants to see pictures of you having just got out of the shower. Right. Dickhead. 
the, what you're not understanding here is that there is a certain kind of relationship that doesn't seem functional from the outside, yeah. but like I understand completely uh, how that works. Yeah, you see, it didn't seem functional from her side either. That's not a fair In situation coming from you. You coming were the one who was found with the body. How did you get to be there that night? What were I you doing at the was party? At the party, um, I wanted to talk, and sometimes you can be a bit temperamental. But I, I, I followed her after she left the party with this guy, and uh, I was, I was nearby. He left eventually. Around what time would you say? Oh, uh, that's. I, I'm not sure. Quarter to twelve. I don't know. I got a taxi at about ten too. I wouldn't be sure. I, I, all I know is I, I, when you left, I went looking for you. Uh, I was wondering what you were up to, and. Um, yeah, you wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have assumed that you had been given the birds and the bees talk quite yet. So you followed them. You followed him. And when you got back? I, I, I couldn't find him, so I returned to Abigail. But at that stage, she, she, had, she had died. I mean, I, I, I tried CPR, but... You tried CPR? Yeah. Your fingerprints were found on Abigail's neck, her clothes, all over her. I, I just wanted her back. She, like... <laughs> and you didn't think, maybe I should call the authorities? You didn't think to call some professional help, which might have, you know, been useful? Eventually that started crossing my mind, but I wanted to see what I could do immediately. We have with us tonight the witness who saw Ian with Abigail's body. I'd like to introduce to you Molly, Abigail's best friend, who called the emergency services. Molly, thanks for being here with us tonight. No I know this must be a pretty difficult time for you, but I'd just like you to, if you can, take us through your perspective for th of what happened that evening. Well, I was at the party and I saw him. And he's always caused Abigail trouble, so I was obviously concerned um, and I saw Abigail leave. She was pretty drunk and next thing he was gone too, so I went to go after her. I didn't want her going alone into the night with him. Um, and then I saw Rory um, around the park at about 11.50 getting a taxi. So I went into the park um, to try find Abigail and that's when I saw Ian over her dead body. I was trying to resuscitate her. He I wasn't. He w could have clearly seen that. I think it was fairly obvious what you did. So. so you called the authorities. What time would you think that was at? I think, I mean, I'd have to check, but I think it was about um, 12, 15. Would you mind if we check, Molly? Um, everyone else at this table has given us access to yeah. their phones. Yeah. Thank you. I'll just send this along. Ooh. But tell me about your relationship with Rory. How do you know him? How do you know Ian? Um, I've known Rory the whole time that he, Abigail did. Um, we were actually friends before um, him and Abigail even knew each other. and. Ian has been a constant source of trouble the whole time me and Abigail have been in school. It's um, not fair to say. A series of creepy happenings and she was actually getting a restraining order um, placed on him. So yeah, I think that sums it up. Um, he was kind of a constant backdrop to our friends. whole shoot you were not friends you were not friends you're never friends Molly Do you know what a friend is yeah we message and keep each other safe so mm. we didn't you said 
do you saw Rory getting a taxi at 11.50? Yeah, about 11.50, I'm not entirely sure. But you also said that you didn't want Abigail to go alone, to go home alone. If you knew she was with Rory, why were you out there in the first place? I, I didn't know that they were together. I just presumed that maybe It's a pretty strong presumption from someone who I'm assuming Abigail would have told everything to. I mean, your best friends. You must have known that they were off again. Well, I was, I was just trying to find her, so I just thought to check. Molly, what is your relationship to Rory? Um, I just said the m we've known each other a long time, so friends. Friends? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, no, we're pretty... New evidence has come to light. Are you sure you want to stick with your story, Molly? Yes. Did these look like messages between friends to you? Don't look like it to me. Can we meet up soon? I need to see you. Last night was amazing. Um, they're easily explained. I'll um, see you at Sarah's. We can talk then. I love you, Rory. Easily explained? I'd love to hear it. Please, actually. I'd love to hear it. We... I... I was supposed to be the one that got with Rory, not Abigail. That was always the plan. And sh she was helping me do that. But mm -hmm. then they got close and that messed up my plan. So, but... 12.15. The time it takes for you to get from seeing Rory get in his taxi at the side of the road to Abigail and calling the police. From 10 to 12 to 12, 15, what were you doing? Where were you? Um, Would you not have seen Ian if you had come in through the same gate that Rory had left? Would he not have seen you? Molly, would you like to explain to us exactly what happened? Because I'm at a loss here. You came in here as a witness. What happened? All right, look, I... No. Molly? I didn't mean to kill her. She... I saw them, and I saw Ian over the body, and I... afterwards. So it was easy to... It was easy to kill your best friend? H was that easy for you? It w I, that's not what I meant. I meant that it was, I, I he, he would have done something like that anyway. I mean, she, she, she always attracted, she, she always did these kinds of things to attract that kind of attention. She brought it, she brought it on herself. She, she brought it on herself. She brought it on herself. Are you saying that? She brought it on herself? You can't, you can't talk about anything. No, I, I, I cared about her. That is disgraceful. That, no, I, I can't. Okay, 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 um, okay. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it there. Um, uh, thank you for being with us tonight. Um, next week on Alibi, we'll be solving the mysterious case of the DIT murders. Thank you and good night.